Today, I want to talk about an incident that occurred in Erie, Pennsylvania at a church during mass. And there's two meanings to this. There's two important things for us to talk about here today. I want to spend some time on the first one and stick with me till the end, because there's really another, maybe even more important message that I want to share with you. So as we get started, this occurred at 815 during the Sunday evening service or uh, mass. And it's at the uh, Blessed Sacrament Church in Erie, Pennsylvania. And during this service, what happens is some of the parishioners see a man sitting in a pew with a gun in his pocket. They just see the gun sticking out a little bit. The guy has not threatened anybody. And we're not talking about something where he stood up and waved the gun around or anything like that. They just see it sticking out of his pocket. So it's kind of an innocent situation at this point but everybody's on it. The parishioners get on it. In fact, there's some discussion later about how they were on this uh, kid. And uh, they called the police and basically they held him there. They wouldn't let him go and uh, until the police arrived. And so when the police, I, I mean, they were, they were energized about this situation, understandably. And we want to talk about that. And after this, so they find it. So the police arrived, they find the kid, with the gun in his pocket, and it ends up being it's a, just a BB gun. So uh, the investigation that the police do, they determine that the kid says, uh, and I don't know the age at this point, that hasn't been released, but he was afraid of getting jumped in the streets. He was afraid of getting attacked. So he's carrying the BB gun so that he has a little bit of protection. So the police basically decide they're not going to charge him with anything. And so, you know, I want to talk about is, is everybody's so concerned about active shooters these days. Is this, uh, is this a bad reaction? And I say, no. I mean, if you see anything, we talk about see something, say something. And I wouldn't want to discourage anybody who see, thinks they see something. We need to be checking these things out. So somebody here thinks they see a real gun and it's, close one of those close replicas of a gun that's actually a bb gun and we're going to talk about that probably the bigger story here and so uh i don't want to fault anybody and that's message number one in this in this podcast is i don't want to fault anybody for reporting something we should be training our greeters we should be training our ushers we should be training other leaders within the church on safety and security and a lot of those are observe and report positions. They're going to see something and they should come and tell you in security or they should come and tell a leader. So I don't think we should fault anybody these days for what they see. I just want to break in here for a moment and let you know that there are some great professional opportunities for training for church security that are available to help you improve your professionalism, limit your liabilities, the liabilities of your team and the liabilities of your church. Just check out the link in the description or go to churchsecurityacademy.org to see all the courses created for you or look for a link in the description below or the comments section wherever you're watching this video and what they report to us. You look at this Glock here, this, this I mean, it looks like a real Glock, but it's actually a BB gun. And, and and this goes on and on, goes into rifles and everything. I mean, we can keep looking at these uh, different weapons that look, they are great replicas of real weapons, but they are actually just BB guns. So, you know, I encourage you to, to have a discussion about this because these replicas, as we see here, people believed it was a gun and reported it. And I also want to talk about, you know, should we feel bad for mistaking a real gun or a BB gun for real gun or replica guns? I mean, these things are real looking. And so I want to encourage you to have discussions with your teams or your team leaders or challenge your own mind and discuss the fact that there are some good replicas out there. Should we feel bad for reacting? I mean, if we saw this and drew our guns on somebody that had one of these in their pocket, should we feel bad afterwards? And I say, no, I'm supportive of even the police 
run across this every once in a while. They end up shooting someone that's armed with a BB gun or a fake gun or a you know pellet gun. And I say we don't feel bad about this reaction. We need to be on our guard. We need to be alert. And sometimes if somebody's carrying one of these around, it's not wise for them. And we see here in this case that the kid was afraid of being jumped. So he felt a little bit of protection from the fact that he could pull out something that looked like a real gun when it was in fact just a BB gun. So realistically, don't feel bad about it, but talk about the fact that these guns are out there, these replicas, and how are we going to react if somebody pulls one of these out and points it at us? And I want to encourage you, you know, the police run into this every once in a while, like I mentioned, and they react. They shoot these folks uh, and they handle them tactically just like their guns because they do look like guns. And in a split moment, there's really no way to decipher from these uh, these BB guns from real guns. So see something, say something. If you see something, react to it as a security member. And we should not feel bad. In fact, I am proud of these folks at this church in Erie because they saw something and they reacted. The parishioners were on it. It doesn't say anything in the reports about them having a security team, but it does say that their parishioners were right on it and were on this kid and held him till the police got there. They called the police and they held him till they arrived. Thanks for watching today. Uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe uh, and, and stay in contact with us and leave me a note in the comments section, wherever you might be listening on Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, wherever you're at. And also, if you're on YouTube, watch this next video right here. This is a great addition to uh, our training and our discussions.